Welcome to LL Grange and to this video about flagship program, which really our heart with this program is to see people's lives transformed both personally and also in terms of their journey with the Lord. Many, many people over the years have testified to the Lord really making big changes in their life and setting them on a new course with him, um, opening up opportunities, giving them confidence in him, restoring their own life from things that have been tough from their own life experiences. And ultimately, the purpose of this program is to go further, to go deeper with God to discover really his plans and purposes for our life. It's always actually a real highlight for us here as a team to welcome people from all over the world with all kinds of backgrounds and ages, but everyone really serious about the Lord and wanting to move on with him. So we hope that you enjoy this video as you look at some of the experiences that others have had on Flagship, and we'd love one day to welcome you here to LL Grange. When I came into Flagship, I had a, a real weight on my shoulders. Um, I didn't understand the weight on my shoulders because uh, deep down I sort of felt okay, but I knew there was a weight on me that um, I couldn't understand. And right the way through the course, uh, certain things have happened, like clockwork, that this weight has been taken off my shoulders. Hi, I'm Luis, Luis Paulo from Brazil. People call me LP. Uh, I'm married to my wife, Thais. We are missionaries. This course changed many things in me. I learned so many things. I had so many revelations and so many healings of many things that I even, I, I, I was not able to see that I needed healing. But I'm so grateful of being here. I was between job or study or which study or should I be in the city I was in and I just moved house right before I came and it was just all up in the air and I came thinking it would just be an amazing time to draw close to God and hear him um, and get direction but actually what happened was I hadn't realized I was trying to make big decisions for my life from quite a shaky place on the inside and the Lord brought a healing to that place and not only did he heal that shaky place, he's still doing it because I think one of the key things I've learned about flagship is how deep we are as people and how we think we want this done, but actually the Lord knows what's underneath it and he wants to do that before he can do this and actually realize this wasn't even the big deal. The Lord wants to come in to places of emptiness, I think, and that's really what he did for me. He didn't just kind of come into my brokenness, but he came with himself. If I was to surmise flagship, uh, I mean, I've had a, a physical healing. Um, I've uh, had a lot of inner, inner healing. And I suppose if I was to dip my hand into the bucket and just pull out one of these things that have really happened here at uh, LL for me, is maybe the renewal of my emotions. Um, because I came in and I thought all my emotions really had dried up. I didn't need to be too emotional anymore over things that we, it's healthy to be emotional over. When I arrived myself, I didn't think that I needed all, I, I needed this teaching, I didn't think that I needed all this care. I would say 100% of, of Christians should come at some stage in their life um, to this kind of ministry, whether it's this ministry or, 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 or others, especially this one because it covers, it covers everything. But there's nothing left out, there's nothing left to chance. Uh, what comes to mind is if uh, you come to LL Grange is that you, you find out about yourself. Um, 
and, and it's, it, it is a journey of finding out about yourself. Take on board the fact that we've all got little hurts. Those little hurts could be bigger hurts than we realise. And they were, <laughs> very precisely. I, I got to um, speak with people who are very mature and who kind of lift me up in a sense and kind of discern what I'm struggling with that day and just speak just the right word without needing to take credit saying God told me blah, blah, blah. They were just the maturity of just to speak into it and nip it or take care, you know what I mean? And I appreciate that maturity. Uh, I think from probably, I don't know, day two or three, the house starts to feel like home. Um, I forget sometimes I've actually got a house somewhere else that I've got to go back to. Um, the food, you, you, you just, you do not go hungry. There is just um, so much food and um, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. I, I would 100% recommend uh, the flagship programme. They make it personal here, so it's not just um, necessarily black and white teaching from a book, from a textbook to us, it's, it's, it's personally re relates to us and, it, and they're really led by the Holy Spirit and I, and I think for, you know, if you're thinking about, you know, just wanting to draw closer to God, wanting to understand more about who He is, wanting to understand Scripture, the Bible more clearly, um, I, think, I think this would be an incredible place to do that. Um, and if, if the Lord leads you, this, this, is, this has been an incredible experience and I definitely would recommend it. I think generally the atmosphere here is just all about God and um, listening to Him, hearing from Him, and not necessarily, um, not people's perceptions or um, what might seem right to somebody, but it's all about um, seeking God and getting to the real issues and just being yourself. So that's been an incredible blessing. So many people do have are broken hearted or the real word we were told is shattered. And uh, this is an opportunity to learn about the brokenness and how God intends to fix us, starting with us and then um, using um, the gifts and from, from the Spirit to help other people realise their true identity in Christ. The teaching has been invaluable, you know, it's just been awesome to be able to sit underneath that. Uh, it's a different kind of teaching that you probably get in the church. Um, and it is a, a very healthy kind of teaching and addresses a lot of uh, deeper down things that we want to suppress that we don't know that we've got. And flagship has been uh, inspirational, um, revelational, um, I think, because you know you get a broader, wider, uh, deeper, even longer look at your own faith and what it is that, that uh, you think you know, where you're at with the Lord that you think faith is. Well, faith and walking in faith, learning about faith and having knowledge goes a lot deeper in things. Um, so yeah, it's been fantastic. And not only that, you know, you meet great people. Uh, when, you, when you club together uh, from people all, from all around the world, um, marvelous, you know, just to be able to come together, uh, grow deeply together because you share you share intimate things with each other over the nine weeks and you become a close family. So, you know, that, that family warmth side of it. You're not afraid to share, you know, you can, um, you can open up, you know, and be who you are, you know, and you're doing it within a safe environment so you don't feel threatened. And even when you do feel a little bit, you know, threatened in certain areas of, of, of your own inner workings when you're in and amongst flagship, whether it be relationship issues or whatever, um, you find that the love and the warmth that come from the people that you're with, I think that um, you know you break through and, and you, just, uh, you just become who you are. <laughs> but then there's so much fun built in as well and that's just 
blown me away. I mean, um, so we've had like family fun nights and uh, a summer fun day. and It's just been, you know, you can have, God might have churned a few things up in the day and, and it's been a bit difficult. And, and then you have a family fun night where you just laugh. And, and that for me has been a key lesson because it's, you know, you, you might have difficult times but then you can still you can still get together and have a laugh in the evening about just normal relaxed things and that's been a real um, key learning point for me. Yeah, flagship has by far exceeded my expectations. The teaching, I feel like I've never learned so much before as I've learned in these nine weeks. And there were so many areas I've never even thought about before. And um, also the fellowship and um, the love just of the people on staff and um, the other flagshippers. It's been such an encouraging environment and um, also the beautiful grounds. It's just been so lovely to spend time with God outside in nature and um, to also learn how to um, minister practically to others, uh, which I feel I've not really learned in this hands-on way before, so it's been incredibly enriching and has really deepened my relationship with God as well. Like so much attention and care and love we receive in this place, it is amazing. So I recommend everybody, everybody, because everybody needs something here, even though if you don't think, oh, it's not for me, I'm healed, I don't need this. I'm sure you're gonna receive a lot of revelations and a lot of healing here. So, yes, just thank, thank God and thank everyone here from LL Ministries. Thank you so much. It's amazing. <laughs> Do it. What have you got to lose? I mean, I didn't know what was coming before I came. And I had no idea of the end, where I was going to go, and it's brought me back to the heart of the matter, which is the heart of God, and just abiding in Him, living in Him, living with Him in His love. It's the whole thing, it's the whole point of life, to be in Him and known by Him, and it just gets rid of all the shakiness, it gets rid of you know, so much that we think, Lord, why am I struggling with this? Or this is an old issue, why is it still here? And yeah, flagship has just been an amazing tool in the hand of the Lord just to bring healing and really bring me back to him. Yeah, do it, you know, it's good. Um, the staff, the volunteers, the whole group have been absolutely wonderful. Nothing's too much trouble. But of course, when we, when we arrive, we all have expectations because we don't know. Hopefully this, this um, will, will, will help somebody that is a little bit nervous. There are people um, hurting. I didn't think that I was hurting, but it turned out that I was. Because and t until it's taken out and put on the washing line, you don't know. Down, down from the teaching, the prayer, and the food, I cannot fault it. And you've all been so kind. <laughs>